Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Tone Tutorials. Not sure of the name yet. Um, my intention is to give you some general approaches how I dial in a specific sound and maybe help you with your sound. Because I get a lot of questions. Well, Dorma, I have this equipment and this pedal and this amp. How should I dial it in? And since I do with Regardless of the gear, I do uh, very uh, similar uh, steps. I thought, well, why not share with you? So in episode one, we dial in a uh, standard death metal sound. And this is maybe just for beginners, but intermediates could learn a thing or two. I'm really sure of that. Um, so for death metal tone, you need a guitar, obviously. and. I like my death metal sound downtuned, so that's why I chose a 7th string in standard B. You don't need a 7th string, a 6th string does wonderfully well uh, also, but I think you should downtune at least a whole step. Although there are bands that play death metal in standard tuning like Opeth, um, I prefer the death metal sound dropped. That's just it. The guitar itself, well, as of right now, doesn't really matter. There will be coming a series of videos about that in the future. So, and then you need exactly three things. You need a cap, whatever cap you've got. You need an amp and you need a drive pedal because we are going to dial in kind of a unique death metal sound and therefore we need a drive pedal. Um, so, I want to visualize all those things with my Fractal Audio XFX because it's way easier and um, I can show you how uh, what you can do with amp modelers as well as with regular analog gear. So let's first build our signal chain with an input and an output. Let's connect. Okay, step one, cabinet. Um, lots of you guys will have just one cabinet or just one speaker and that's totally fine. Uh, however, if you can choose between different cabinets or between different IRs, I would always opt for a, a 1x12, 2x12, 4x12 inch speaker cap. I especially like the vintage 30 speakers, but greenbacks do do, uh, do well or uh, there are lots of other speakers. So when you have the option, just try it out. Um, for the sake of this video I'm picking a cap that I really know and therefore know how it sounds. It's the Jens Bogren Greasy Beard. But as I said before, any other cap should essentially work. With IRs, not every IR will work. You have to choose or you have to toggle between different to see which works best. Next, amp. Well, again, if you have just one amp, use this amp. If you can choose between different amps, always opt for, well, or I tend to opt more for some British amps. Uh, speaking of Marshall, I found out that the USA based amps or the USA sound sounding amps like Rectifier uh, don't harmonize well with uh, HM2 pedals, which I, uh, uh, which I chose as my favorite drive pedals, of course, but um, different pedals might vary. So, for the sake of this video, we choose the JM Pre 1 OD2. We always use the overdrive uh, sound. So, if you have an overdrive channel, use it. So, now we have different tone controls. We have treble, mid bass. Uh, all amps should have this. You might have presence, uh, some of you might have resonance, and we have drive. Uh, master volume, well, <laughs> here in this uh, XFX I can ch uh, choose to set the master volume as high or as low as I want. You have to hear the sound, of course. I tend to use not this much master volume. I like the preamp distortion more than the power amp distortion. So my general approach, oh, by the way, here's the sound with everything on stock. Sounds really good by itself. Um, 
this isn't always the case so don't be afraid so I tend to dial in more treble bit lower mid and way lower bass because I try to dial in my sounds that they will work in a band situation and I have a bassist who's responsible for the low frequency so I don't have to use as much and uh, drive is okay I'll get most of my drive out of the drive pedal however if you don't own a drive pedal you could always dial in more and this is the sound that I it just randomly dialed in <laughs> Besides that it lacks gain, it's quite okay. You could play around with the toggles. I um, would suggest always starting in noon position and then uh, just grab a random port, for instance the treble, and play around with it until you hear something that you like. Oh, and don't be afraid to go extreme. Okay, basically the same. I said don't be extreme, um, this excludes the mids. Um, lots of bedroom players tend to uh, dial in way too less mids, um, so you need mids. You can dial them back a slightly bit, but you need mids. Okay. Cool. Now, drive pedal. Uh, again, just choose whatever drive pedal you've got. However, if you're dialing in a unique sound, uh, choose a drive pedal that not everyone has. Um, booster is okay and overdrive is okay, but I really like distortion pedals in front of a driven amp to just get this unique sound. And, um, well, you could use the obvious uh, tube screamer. The general setting would be level full, drive not full tone to taste and we have this and this would already work but since we're dialing in a death metal sound uh, should be unique let's choose a unique pedal um i really tend to like the red but not the red distortion but that's a um, fractal audio thing i really like the fat red and therefore i choose it um, be aware of the fact that not all drive pedals harmonize well with all amps and you have to experiment again if you have a model of some kind it's way easier to experiment than with real setup but in a real setup well m most of the time it will work to some extent and if not <laughs> sorry so, Fat Red, same settings, we'll maybe add a little bit more distortion and see what we can This sounds really cool. Um, just quickly dialed in, but I already have a sound that will definitely work for a rehearsal um, and it will work for uh, practicing and maybe even in a recording situation. However, there I would double check with bass and drums if it won't drown in a band context. So when you've dialed in the drive sound, I typically go back to the amp block or my amp and see if we can turn, and see if I can tweak a bit more to uh, complement the pedal that I chose or if it doesn't work I choose a random amp but this rarely happens so let's find out <laughs> Oh, 
So I dialed in a bit more bass because uh, it was kind of lacking of bass. Um, and yeah, that's how I dial in a tone. Um, quick recap, down-tuned guitar, uh, humbuckers of course, and uh, bridge position. Um, cap, whatever cap you've got, uh, I suggest a 12-inch speaker and toggle through every uh, IR you've got. Amp, whatever you've got, I tend to prefer British style amps, but your results may vary. And uh, dial in the amp to taste, I mm, bit more treble, bit less bass, uh, don't nullify the mid, and then a drive pedal, choose the nastiest one you've got, um, dial it into taste, maybe reduce the gain on the amp, don't use too much gain, and then you're basically have a unique tone. Uh, that should work in a death metal context. Like this. So, that's it for the first episode of Tone Tutorials. Not sure I like the name yet. Um, if you know a better name, and I'm very sure you know a better name because you're way more creative than I am, uh, just leave a comment down below in the comment section. and. Also, leave a comment, uh, what do you want to see more in the future of this kind of tutorials? I hope um, some of you view this video and this won't be the last one that I will ever do. Um, I have some more uh, techniques uh, that I want to show you. Um, we're talking parallel again, we're talking uh, live setting when you're the only guitar player. And uh, well, but maybe you have something you really want to know how to dial in and um, well, if the idea sounds cool to me, I might do another video. And another question, uh, how do you like the sound that I dialed in in around uh, 13 minutes or so? Well, most of the time was talking, so five minutes. Um, just let me know. So I'll finish this video with a couple more riffs uh, with this sound without uh, playing around with the knobs. But as always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, may the force be with you and have a nice day.